Hi friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Train. Today we are going to discuss about nutraceuticals and functional foods. What is nutraceuticals? Nutraceuticals is a hybrid of nutrition and pharmaceuticals. Or they are food or part of food playing a significant role in modifying and maintaining normal physiological function that maintain healthy human being. In simple terms, nutraceuticals is just a hybrid of nutrition and pharmaceutical. Nutraceutical, uh, the term coined by Stephen D. Fellis. Who coined the term nutraceutical? Stephen D. Fellis coined the term nutraceutical. And this nutraceutical is defined as a food or parts of food that provide medical or health benefits including prevention and treatment of diseases. This nutraceuticals is any non-toxic food extract supplement that has scientifically proven health benefits for both the treatment and prevention of diseases. We can also define this nutraceutical as natural functional or medical foods or bioactive phytochemicals that have health promoting, disease preventing or medical properties. We can define nutraceutical uh, as natural function, functional or medical foods or bioactive phytochemicals that have health promoting, disease preventing or medical properties. And these nutraceuticals, they generally contain vitamins, lipids, proteins, carbohydrates, minerals, or other necessary nutrients. And this functional food and nutraceuticals, pro nutraceutical products represent a value-added growth opportunity for the agri-food industry. In simple terms, nutraceuticals is the hybrid of nutrition and pharmaceutical. It's a, it has some health promoting and disease preventing and treating uh, properties. And the term nutraceutical was coined by Stephen D. Fellis. The era of nutri uh, nutraceutical arises in 1990s. And is this nutraceuticals regulated? As of course, this nutraceuticals is regulated in India by FSSAI. FSSAI is the regulatory body for these nutraceuticals. Name the bioactive component present in black paper. Option A, piperin. Option B, biopirin. Option C, curcumin. And option D, lycopene which is the bioactive component present in black paper. Our answer is piperin. Piperin is the bioactive component present in black paper. And this is an alkaloid responsible for the pungency of black paper. This piperin is an alkaloid which is responsible for the function of resp responsible for the pungency of black paper. The main important function of this piperin is it increases the level of absorption of nutrients within our body. It improves the metabolism, improves our immune system, and improves the mental skills, improve memory, etc. These are all the nutraceutical benefits of this piperin. And what is this bioperin? It is a branded extract of black paper, which is 95% piperin. It's a branded extract of black paper, which is 95% piperin. The active ingredient in turmeric, which is the active ingredient present in turmeric. Curcumin is the main active ingredient in turmeric. And this curcumin has powerful anti-inflammatory effects and is a very strong antioxidant. 
the curcumin content of turmeric is 3 percentage by weight. This curcumin is the active ingredient in turmeric. And there is one thing that is curcumin is poorly absorbed into the blood. So if we consume this uh, curcumin along with some black pepper, uh, it will enhance the absorption of curcumin. That is the piperin present in the black pepper helps in the absorption of curcumin. That is why bioprin is a 95 percentage piperin, uh, piperin component and it is added to the uh, curcumin powder for, for increasing the or for enhancing the absorption of curcumin. Name the polyphenol present in fruits. Which is the polyphenol present in fruits? Option A, anthocyanidin. Option B, proanthocyanidin. Option C, lignans. And option D, eugenol. The answer is anthocyanidin. Anthocyanidin is the polyphenol present in fruits. What is this polyphenols? Polyphenols are reducing agents, but is, these are natural compounds that contain more than one phenolic groups. Polyphenols are natural compounds which contain more than one phenolic hydroxyl group. And these polyphenols are reducing agents and together with some vitamin C, vitamin E and carotenoids, they act as antioxidants and protect the body from oxidative stress. The role of polyphenol is they are reducing agents and they protect. They also act as antioxidant by combining with vitamin C, vitamin E or carotenoids and thus they prevent the body from oxidative stress. And anthocyanidin is the polyphenol present in fruits. Name the bioactive component present in fenugreek that reduces cholesterol. Option A, lignans. Option B, dicin. Option C, saponins. And option D, lutein. The bioactive component present in fenugreek that reduces cholesterol is saponins. Answer is saponins. Saponins are any class of steroid or terpenoid glycoside which make foam when shaken with water. Which make foam when shaken with water. That is if we soak this fenugreek seeds overnight in water. The next day morning we can see some a foamy substance or soap like substance in that water. That it is due to the presence of this saponins and these saponins um, in this fenugreek that will reduce uh, cholesterol. These saponins decrease the blood lipids, lower cancer risk and also lower blood glucose response. And which vitamin is known as antioxidant vitamins? Which vitamins are known as antioxidant vitamins? The vitamins like vitamin C, vitamin E and carotenoids are collectively known as antioxidant vitamins. Antioxidants are substances that can prevent or slow damage to uh, cells caused by free radicals. Uh, that is free radicals are unstable molecules that the body produces as a reaction to environmental and pressures. And these antioxidants are also called as free radical scavengers. Antioxidants are also known as free radical scavengers. And these free radicals are also known as reactive oxygen, oxygen species, ROS. Other name of these free radicals are reactive oxygen species. The antioxidants are said to help neutralize free radicals in our body and boost the overall health. They protect the cell damage, remove the free radicals or uh, by removing the oxidative stress they boost the health of our body and the foods which are rich in vitamin e which include broccoli avocado 
chard, mustard, turnip greens, mangoes, nuts, papaya, pumpkin, red peppers, spinach, sunflower seeds, etc. And uh, foods which are rich in vitamin C include berries, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, grapefruit, honeydew, kiwi, mango, orange, papaya, sweet potato, peppers, tomatoes, etc. And the source of this carotenoids or beta carotene includes apricots, asparagus, beets, broccoli, carrots, corn, pumpkin squash, spinach, sweet potato, tomatoes, and watermelons. Vitamin E is also known as tocopherol and vitamin C is also known as ascorbic acid. And thank you for listening this video. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell button for future notifications. And please share this link to your friends and leave your valuable comments for future improvement in the videos. Thank you.